Squash, it's what's on the plate for this Motivation Monday. Last night after worship, someone was asking me what's growing in our fall garden. And I told them it's a it's a busy season, it's a new season in life, and so the, the garden has had to take a bit of a back burner, but we still have a few things growing. And one of those things are these squash plants. We re replanted the yellow squash plants, and our family enjoys eating these, and I love growing them because they're fairly hardy. They get by on their own. They produce a lot of fruit. There's something new out here every couple of days, and so that's exciting. The only problem that we really have with our squash plants here in our house is vine borers. And so if you're not familiar with them, it's a moth that actually lays its larvae inside the main stem of the squash plant. And it grows secretly in there, eating away at the plant until one day the plant dies, or sometimes even the plant will just fall over because the main stem has been so weakened. Well, for me, there's a pretty obvious application to things that can eat us from the inside too. We're talking about sin. Specifically, we're talking about secret sin. Something that we allow into our lives that just takes over. That just is something that we allow to live there without dealing with it. Scripture talks very clearly about protecting our heart, protecting the conscience that God has given us, and dealing with sin as it comes into our life. When we allow it to come in and eat away at us, it could spiritually kill us. And we need to be aware of that. You know, Psalm 32 is a great place to turn and to look at God's forgiveness. The way that God helps us to deal with our sins. That's David talking there in Psalm 32. And David, of course, a man after God's own heart, knew about sin too. And the sin that he committed with Bathsheba, and then also with killing her husband, Uriah. And things just kind of snowballed out of control. We don't want things to snowball out of control in our lives. So we need to deal with the sin that's in our lives. We need to squash sin, if you'll let me use that statement. But it is a serious thing that we need to deal with. We need to take care of the sin in our lives, and God can help us. God bless you this week as you examine your life, as you work to grow in His Word, his wisdom.